Okay. So, holy cow, that was a pain in the butt. Who had this idea? <laughs> Me. I have a. I have my headphones on, so I can enjoy music, and Facebook won't mute my video. <laughs> So, it's not very much battery left, though. Okay, so I'm doing a gazing ball. I had this terrific idea about uh, doing mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Um, putting vinyl on a round surface is really a pain in the butt. So, um, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Um, I got this gazing ball for five bucks at a uh, family dollar when it, at the end of the season and uh, it's hard for me to see colors on my monitor. Um, the bottom was black and I just went over it with the hummingbird so it's got that blue pretties. And I think I'm going to do... I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. <laughs> I know this is going to be some kind of, like, blend of colors. And this is stencil, so I'm going to pull it off, and we'll be able to see the silver where the stencil was. So I'm going to do something to the top and something to the bottom. But I'm going to do the bottom first because it has to uh, sit this way. But once the bottom's dry then we can do this side and we can use the base to hold it up so i think man do i want to do the top hummingbird or the bottom i think i'm gonna well this is hummingbird though so i'm gonna do the top hummingbird and then do a blend of like navajo and zia and maybe purple a little bit of green maybe and then I have to think of a solid color for down here maybe Zia down here I don't know we'll figure it out um, we have to do the bottom first so hmm hmm I think I think we'll do I think I'll do Zia for the bottom or should we do pink Damn it. <laughs> Bad at this. Oh, I do know that if I'm gonna. Mm. Wow, man, I don't know. Purple? Purple? Purple, why not? Purple. So I'm gonna do full strength spit because uh, this is a metal. I'm just going to paint it on. Yeah, see, that might not even work. I don't know. We shall see. Okay. Let's see how this works. Should probably get down here in the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing, right? I'll have lots of editing to do if uh, you can't see what I'm doing. I think this is gonna take two coats though, because I don't want I want it to be solid, and it's gonna have brush marks. So I don't know how to do get rid of those, but let me get out of the way for a minute. I gotta go right up against the bottom of the. See, I just stuck my finger in it. So that's 
fun. Who had this idea? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm so funny. I did buy this thing though to specifically to spit on it. It's been sitting on my counter. I had to wash it because it was so gross and dirty. Because the baby got a hold of it and, you know, sticky fingers. The good thing is, it looks like it's drying fast. So maybe by the time we get around this thing, we can do a second coat. And here I am staying up all night again because I had a project idea that I just had to get done. I don't know if you guys are even seeing what I'm doing. So I have Jamiroquai on Pandora. Just love him. <clears throat> Got like a little disco. 70s beat. <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Oh my gosh. This is hurting my hands actually. Peeling all those st stupid scales out was a pain in the butt also. So I hope this looks really cool. when it's done. to find a, a non-sunny spot uh, or a spot that doesn't get a lot of rain. I don't know, outside for this. I don't know. It's a gazing ball. But with it covered in spit, then it doesn't really, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It seems like a good idea. So we'll just roll with it. And uh, maybe it'll be cool enough for sponsored artists. I don't know. These aren't completely uh, straight. But like I said, it's really kind of hard to get something on a round surface. Vinyl on a round surface. Even stretching it. It's like... <sighs> is kind of crappy because it's been sitting in a cup of water forever okay so I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and I think it's only gonna take a minute because it's it's drying pretty quick and then we'll get another coat on it see what uh, um, I really wish that I didn't have brush marks though I don't know how to get rid of those. Or at least cold brush marks would be. <laughs> that would work. Mm. Yes, so long as the silver's not showing through, we'll be okay.
kind of like a fishing bobber right now, huh? All right, so I'm going to wait for it to uh, dry some more and we'll get a second coat on there and hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. So it's almost dry, but I had an idea because I don't like the brush marks. So, I mean, for this video, you guys are hearing me talk, so you can, you'll know what I'm using. But when I do the fast video for um, sponsored artists, if I decide to use this project, they'll just think it's metallic paint and not Michelle Nicole's magic potion. <laughs> And thinking about it now, I probably should wait until I should have waited until uh, I got the stuff from Michelle Nicole. But I'm going to use the um, green patina one. We're just going to call it metallic paint. And I'm going to use more purple. And then I'm going to use a little piece of sponge and uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sponge this but I have both colors hopefully and that might work better oh okay so I should probably shouldn't dry this with my heat gun because that's pretty hot all right I still don't want it in the Yeah, that's warm. That probably wasn't the best idea I had. But like I said, let's see, right now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Jackson will be home at 10 o'clock from his dad's house. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. My light's not over me anymore. Let me fix my light. So check that out. Yeah, I like it. Okay, much better. Much better. Both colors on there. Anyway, this will get rid of the get rid of the brush strokes, and um, I like it. The bronzy matine or patina. I really think it's my favorite. Trying not to get it in my scale, so. At least not a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I think that patina metallic is really uh, my fave. I love patina anything. Now I did have uh, some gold metallic paint, oil based paint. I think it's, oh it's not Rust-Oleum. Oh yeah it is, it's Rust-Oleum. Ultra cover gold, but it's so stinky and I don't know how well it would work on a sponge because it's oil based
frame. So I think I need to get a little bit more. It's looking pretty cool though. I like it. If I have enough. I don't have very much of this left. But Michelle's sending me more, so I'm excited. Where are we at? So I'm thinking if I use this patina all the way through, maybe it'll, I don't know, maybe it'll look good. I don't know. It's drying right there. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could see it. Let me figure out where the camera is. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to flip this. Oh my gosh, that right there is so awesome. Ugh, this was a good idea. And it is definitely getting rid of the brush marks, so. And giving it a little shine. part of this goes in the base so it doesn't have to be perfect perfect so how we do do we get it all looking good I don't know how straight that uh stencil is it's not too bad <laughs> Okay, let this dry, and then we're going to move on to, oh, I don't know if I want to do the top next, or if I want to do the scales. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, I wish you guys could see this. It is, oh, that color is amazing. I hope I can get it close enough so you can see. Can you see the shiny? Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. So that was a good idea, adding the metallic. Definitely. Oh, looks awesome. Okay. So I'm going to, I used my heat gun on it again, so it's pretty, <laughs> it's warm again. So I'm going to give it a minute to cool off, and then uh, we're going to flip it and work on the other side. So I think I'm going to uh, keep going with this metallic paint, and um, I'm wondering if I should, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to do Navajo first, because, um, I think it's stuck better to the bottom with the first first uh, layer of paint. So, um, I need to find my paintbrush and get the purple off. I know you guys can see my reflection. You can see my messy craft room and my camera and the reflection. <laughs> it's cool, right? You won't be able to see it for very long. So let's do, uh, hmm. I'm not going to worry too much about the stencil right now because I'm just going to go over it with the 
colors anyway, so. Oh, the only thing that's, I can't um, spin that because I don't want it to scratch the paint in the bottom or the spit. Yes, I said paint, I'm bad. really smell the jasmine right now. gonna let that dry for a minute and we'll come back and add some pretty metallics okay now to do the top I'm just gonna do Navajo and the um that Tina like I did the bottom
Oh, I'm going to make this last. I only got a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I don't know how well this is going to go well with the silver, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> We're invested now. Okay, so that looks cool. I'm going to let that dry. And we can work on the scales. Okay, so we got the top done. Got the bottom done. Now we have to do the scales. So, just as a side note, that bronze on top of the Navajo is amazing. All right, so what are we gonna do the scales? We're gonna do, we have to tie this all in together, so. Um, Make sure this is all stuck to it as good as it's going to get. I'm sure it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, it happens. All right, so I'm going to do purple. Oh, by the way, these are all full strength straight out of the bottle because um, diluted is not going to stick to uh, this metal, so... All right, so I have purple, pink, Navajo, Zia, um, maybe. Yep, okay, Zia. Um, oh, man, that's watered down though. Ooh. I used some of that Finchy Fran. Just because I like sparkles. And again, we'll just call it sparkly paint <laughs> in the other video. And then definitely some, uh, we got a, um, oh, okay. Uh, some hummingbird that I had a little bit of a clog there, and now it's all over. Huh. All right, so I'm just gonna sponge these colors on, I think. Try to blend it in, I don't know. We're winging it here now. Let's see. Oh yeah. Heck yeah! And another awesome combination is definitely the um, Zia and the Hummingbird. Very, very sad that uh, we're going to have to wait for a uh, Hummingbird. Just saying, it is probably the most amazing color in the world. It is my fave. What do you guys think? Yeah? I'm trying to get it thick enough though that um, I won't have to do a second coat because blend will ruin our cool blend job here. Right? That's a lot of pink on that one. Tap it out. Oh, you know, it reminds me of uh, Rainbow Fish. You guys ever read that story to your kids? That's what it looks like. Oh, this stupid computer sometimes. Okay. Oh, let's see. 
blend the purple. Yes, cat. I think the cat likes the smell of this stuff. That's what I think. Because she's always around my stuff when I'm trying to record. Middle seems like it's going on forever here. Get you get out of here. She's trying to spill my water. Naughty kitty. Oh, almost done. Now oh, there's some pink was hiding underneath the other colors. Ooh, awesome. Have some fun. Cat. Alright, so I think Hey! Will you get off of the couch? I gotta throw something at her. <laughs> she keeps digging up my couch. All right, so some of this is bland, but it might look okay once it's dry. I think I need more pink though. Kind of got lost under my other colors. yellow in there too. We need some sparklies. Uh oh. I touched it, did I? Uh, Alright. Looking good. Yeah. That's not very centered, but that's okay. All right, let's let this dry. But I think I also want to find something to put this other paint on, cause or this spit on, cause I don't want to waste it. It's pretty. You know, it just kick me for keep calling it paint. It's got to be because I'm wide awake. It's two o'clock, two thirty now. If I put it on a canvas, so I think that it'll end up getting cover up. I don't know. We'll see. But I can't waste it because Oh, that looks muddy. Oh, I'm going to pause this while I do this. You can't even see. Moment of truth. Um, of course, I don't know where my tack is. Alright. Uh, I think it looks pretty dry. Uh, maybe I should have did the middle and then the bottom. spots here that are not um, really we might have to uh, most of it looks 
okay. I can see some spots where the stencil came up, so probably not going to have perfect scales, but... I think it might be okay. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I don't want to pull the wet spots yet. But I do have to find the end of the stencil. <laughs> Oh, here's an end here, I think. Yeah. Let's see what it does. Oh, of course, that's the small one. Uh, oh, it looks cool, though. Alright, so... Um... I gotta find the end. Alright, so doing small pieces sounded good to begin with. But I think it's gonna be a pain in the butt to take them off. Oh, not too bad. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at how cool that looks. I just don't want to scrape the paint off. Or, oh my god, I need to go to bed. The spit that is not paint, it is a stain. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'll be all right. So maybe this is a longer one. Oh my gosh, that looks so awesome. I love it. It looks great. Oh, maybe I did have a good idea. Um, it's like breaking up on the piece of stencil. Where does it start? Can you guys see this? It is so cool. Ugh, down here. It's going to be really cool when I seal it. Alright, so let's go this way. I think I can get the hold of the stencil right here. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Kinda. Why is it going that way? Go down. Oh, that's really stuck down there. What is going on right there? Maybe I melted it. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Okay. So, the scales aren't perfect. Especially where I tried to meet up because I was trying to keep it all um, straight all the way around and not you know, sometimes when you're doing a round surface, when it curves, it'll go down on one side. So, I was really trying to not have it do that. So, you can see in the first part that I was actually cutting it into smaller pieces to kind of piece it together. So, I knew the scales weren't going to be perfect everywhere, but... Oh my god, it looks so cool. Ugh. And I really can't even show you because it's reflecting the light. Ugh. Maybe a picture after it dries will work better. But that variation of color is so cool. I don't even, I, I don't know. We will figure out how to get a picture of this. All right, stencil, where's your end point? I keep hitting the base and I don't want to scratch any of it until it's sealed. Well, I don't want to scratch it after it's sealed, but I really don't want to scratch it while it's not sealed. Well, this one doesn't want to come off either. I think I maybe melted it a little bit. 
with that heat gun trying to dry it faster. Alright, so... scratching off oh this turned out so cool I'm glad I had this idea I think I need to get my uh, tack though because it's getting hard for me to pick that out of there let me see. let me see because I don't know where that one is. Got one. So, let's find the end of a stencil. Oh, that was easier. Maybe. really don't want to scratch any of the spit off of this metal with the tip of the um, tack. stuck on right there okay say that this stencil is definitely not reusable because it doesn't even want to come off oh here I got it oh I got it okay how much do I get left hey mm and I can't get to it. Goodness. Ah, Alright, I'm going to have to touch that little thing up. See? Right there, I scratched it with the tack. That's what I didn't want to do. Oh, we're back to that wet spot. Just be careful. So, there's a little blotchy spot right there where the stencil didn't stick all the way, but I think that it'll be okay because... It'll be okay because I said it is going to be okay. Yeah, we're getting to where it was wet again. Where I did the little touch up. It's a little, a little wet yet.
Oh, I'm almost done. Mm. All right, so I gotta get this piece. Mm, where is it? So we definitely know that this side is the back side. <laughs> oh, too funny. <clears throat> the rest of it looks really awesome, though, for the most part. I mean, there's some few spots that are kind of blotchy, but... Oh, of course this last piece is going to be a... Pain in the butt to get off. Alright. Yeah, let's see, that was a little, a little wet right there. Let's see, make sure that I, I don't know if there's a piece of stencil right there or if that's where it bled through. There's a piece of stencil there. A little bit. There we go. Okay. So like I said, there's a couple little spots that are not um, the cleanest lines, but yeah. Oh, I wish you guys could see this. Maybe if I took the light off it. No, you still can't. All right, I'm just gonna have to try to get a picture of it when it's uh when it's dry. Get some macro shots of some of these colors because it looks really cool. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. So awesome. Sometimes they have good ideas. I don't know how they're gonna work out, and then they do. It's the best. So I'm gonna let that dry overnight. Not with the heat gun, I'm just going to let it try. And then tomorrow, um, I can seal it and uh, get a couple of picks for you guys. Oh, it looks really cool. I like it. It looks good. Yay! Okay. <laughs>